Hello and uh, welcome to the All Night Gamers podcast. Sorry for the start of their episode 94. Hi, hello, hi. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining us for another edition of the show. Um, I did not think this was going to be a long sheet, but we somehow got there anyway, coming through. Happy Labor Day, everybody, from the All Night Gamers crew. Anybody Ooh. do anything interesting for Labor Day today? I, I worked nothing. and watched all the guests in, come but... in on Friday hey. and for their it was so we bad on Friday. So we did nothing all weekend. Nothing all week. Nah, dude, I worked most of the weekend. That no, we hung like... out with people. Oh, that's true. For two days in a row. And then I slept in today. And then Kinda one of my it. friends was like, Oh, if I get rid of this shift, I'll pick up your Friday. And I was like, Oh yes, please. I want to play Astrobot. That's fair. Yeah, I can't say yeah. I did all that much myself. We did uh, grill some nice steaks for the Auburn game. Um, nice. Got a nice Sarah. I broke in my orange pants. I'm orange pants gang. Ooh. My, Man, my we didn't break 80. Dude, lethal, How lethal. dare we not break 80 and become beat our all-time Bro, we record. fumbled twice in the fourth quarter because of our third string I... being in. We could have gone 87. The all-time yeah. school record for most scored points is 76. I was So we were really pulling for 80 because we wanted to see we're that. Close, 73 dude. is second place, and we've scored that much once before. We might have like been able 90s, to do it but... if we also didn't do the mercy thing. Oh, like, we, we would have absolutely gotten, oh, yeah. we would have gotten triple digits. If yeah, we I was going to say, that would have turned into a basketball-level <laughs> score. I mean, it already kind of was. <laughs> but... <laughs> That's a comment I saw on the college football Reddit. <laughs> I thought basketball season started in November. <laughs> yeah, Damn. but, you know, I'll, there's not that much Dude. to take away from it. Alabama a and an FCS school. They got a new gym out of playing this, how much money we probably gave Ooh. them. The coach literally told in the post game. he said he talked to Hugh Freeze before the game. He said, go easy on us. <laughs> Everybody knows what happens in this game, so. Dang. Can't be too hyped yet, but uh, nah, okay. no. still got those orange pants. I'm going to be rocking those. <laughs> Look, it just feels good to win. It's still exciting. Yeah, though, when we getting, oh, yeah, when like, we struggled against FCF schools at the beginning of last year, like everybody is going to be like, "Oh, you can't say anything because Alabama A&M sucks," and they do. But uh, we like struggled against this kind of competition last year. last year. Uh, yeah. So we haven't and we haven't opened against a team like this in years. Uh, so exactly. yeah, we've actually got some, we've got some players. Everybody seems on the same page. Um, Dude, I'm, I'm excited. I'm kind of surprised though. Cause they were at Jordan hair, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I thought we would be in a lot more, like way busier. I worked a 10 hour shift on Saturday. Like there was like, that's cause everyone's down. Actually, I don't know where everyone is. The parks were basically dead from what I saw. Yeah. I don't, dude, I don't know where everybody's at. Labor Day stuff. Uh, They're at home. Everybody, I guess Labor Day. People are grilling. That's and, true. And big football that's day true. at home, watching football all day. I mean, that's what I did on Saturday before the Armor game. I was watching football the whole day. That's um, a good point. Just wait till uh, Oklahoma comes to town in a few weeks. That'll be a huge say, yeah. game. Um, yeah. All right. Cool. Um, let's get into this. The casting of Frank Stone releases on Wednesday. A demo is available now, by the way. Uh, Astrobot releases on now. Friday. That's exciting. As as does uh, Ace Attorney's. Uh, no. Yes. That's the same date as the. Uh, no, the Among Us skin comes out on the same day. Was that Thursday? No, oh, really? nine slash nine is not this week. It's next Monday. Next uh, week. Pretty sure that said nine dash six. Weird. People were talking. I've looked it up and it says the fifth, like you said. I got but... charged for it, dude. It says the fifth is I... sick. But I'm confused. I saw up and down Twitter and Reddit. People yeah, were talking about oh, it on September 6th. This... Yeah, they talked about how the skin was releasing the same day the game was coming out. So I'm, I'm like... even more confused. I'm well... like, no, I'm getting charged for it. I got charged for it yesterday. So, uh, no, it does not come out next week. Yeah, I can't, can't confirm September 6th from Ace Attorney's website. So, yeah, I'm whack. Just lost. Well, everybody on the Busy Friday, stupid. busy Friday. Oh, so true. Yeah, super excited for Astrobot. Yes. 
Um, director Nicholas Doucet, I'm, I guess that's how you pronounce it, says they're planning speed run and other fun stages as DLC for Astrobot. Uh, quote, we plan to release DLC that includes playful stages and exciting speed run stages like in the previous game by the end of the year, so please look forward to it. That's exciting to hear. Um, thousands of Astrobot controller pre-orders have been delayed or canceled through Best Buy. Um, I don't, as of right now, pre-orders are still available on Walmart's website. So maybe if by the time you're hearing this and if you want one, haven't got one yet, look at Walmart. They might still be available. Um, but yeah, apparently it's a good thing I didn't get mine through Best Buy like I normally do. Yeah. I couldn't. I had to, I got mine through Target, I think. They, it sounds like they oversold. Which is not normally a Best Buy issue. That's normally an Amazon issue. Yeah. Um, so. We've been at this too long to know the pre-order habits of all the <laughs> shops. I'm, I'm really surprised that it's still available on Walmart. How how quick it went out everywhere yeah, else. I guess the people don't trust Walmart. I mean, fair, I guess, but. I'd seen it go. It's been up and out of stock on Walmart multiple times. But All like, even if it, I know them. people don't trust Walmart, but scalpers really don't care. They're gonna try anyway. That's to... true. They're gonna try to. Maybe they, maybe they're expecting Astro about to end up like uh, the Kanye PS5 controller. Concord, the Con, oh. the Kanye PS5 controller. Wait. No, no, no. That wasn't there. Like a rapper was it not Kanye? Who? Alex, wasn't there another one that, that was not connected to a game? Microsoft did that all the time. No, but I think there was a Sony one. I I don't know who it was connected to, though. Uh, I don't know. I don't see anything about one. I see Final Fantasy Fifteen. There's a custom Tupac controller you can get off Etsy. <laughs> no, that's that's not right. Wait, I see it on the. Hold on, someone's got it on our slash PlayStation. Is it? It's got like a does, crown on it and some. Does not list. Oh, what LeBron James had one. Are. The LeBron that's James. One. That's okay. the one. Yeah. Dude, those are two completely different people. I just said the first thing that came to my mind. Ka- yeah, Kanye's crazy. <laughs> Um, and Astrobot devs are already thinking about a sequel, apparently. That's Astrobot 2. Let's go. Shouldn't it be like Astrobot 4? No, it's a sequel to Astrobot. Yeah, but the aliens back from the PS4 VR one. I don't like the rules. I'd have a lot more money if I made the rules. Facts. Um, Metaphor Refantasio is receiving high praise from the industry. Um, Yoko Taro says it's so it's so stylish. I almost wet myself. That's <laughs> okay. That's a, that's a bit much, but okay. <laughs> Jesse Cox released a video on the three hours he got to play and spent the entire time praising it. Um, IGN says it's a brilliant evolution of Persona and SMT. Examples I knew of my I knew looking, but like all over, it's just getting high praise. Yeah, it's exciting. It's always nice to see a newer game uh, get praised. I mean, if it isn't like you know, new devs, yeah, it's not new devs. This is the Persona team, Mm -hmm. but they're like, ah, we get to just play in the fantasy world, which we don't get to do much. Yeah. Uh, that game it, releases October 10th. It does, and I've already bought it. Alex and his pre orders. Uh, the PS5 price increase in Japan has sent Xbox consoles soaring up sales charts. Uh, Define soaring up. Yeah, so I wanted to go ahead and that's why I wanted to open with. Um, they. Someone bought one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on Yodobashi, which is one of Japan's biggest electronics retailers, I guess the website, 
the Xbox Series X console shot up to number eight in the games and console sales charts on the morning of August 29th. And for context, on the previous day, it wasn't even in the top 100. Uh, apparently, that company has also sold out. They've sold out of their Series Xs. Now, they probably only had like five. Five. But mm -hmm. uh, they did sell out. Um, let's see. Sales of all PS5 consoles has been, have been halted across major retailers in Japan, including Sony Direct, Amazon Japan, Yodobashi, and Joshin. Uh, as pre-price rise stock has completely sold out since Sony's announcement about the hike on Tuesday. Damn, Sony. So they sold out of all the consoles they had available before then, and now they're saying don't sell anymore until the price increase goes into effect. Uh, quote from someone I plan to get a PS5 in September for the new Monster Hunter but then the price went up I went to the store but they had already sold out this price increase is really going to hurt my friend who's saving up for a PS5 and Monster Hunter Wilds I guess it's maybe because it's coming to Xbox Series X some people are going for that as well I don't know that seems like a flawed investment in Japan especially it's a flawed investment anywhere but Especially, Especially in Japan. Japan. Yeah. That's the man yeah. who owns one. Uh, I mean, I would so I would no longer that. own one, but that decision was made out of my control. Yeah, no. Technically, I don't own it anymore. It's it's jewels for all I care. I don't, I don't give a shit. Um, Okay, speaking of Xbox, a uh, quote from Phil Spencer, I've made some of the worst game choice decisions. Uh, looking into what he means on that, when I first read this, I thought it was like, oh, I'm a, I'm bad at games. Or whatever, but no. Oh, I thought uh, it was bad. He was saying he was bad, like, company-wise. Is that what it is? It is. It is that. I, I didn't think he would come out and say that, but uh, yeah. That's, a bit, that's not reassuring. Um, he's admitted he'd made some of the worst decisions passing on some of game is, gaming's biggest franchises over the years, including Destiny and Guitar Hero. Uh, in an interview with Phil Spencer at PAX West over the weekend, Spencer opened up about the games that mattered most to him over the years, including Bungie's 2014 sci-fi shooter Destiny. Obviously, Bungie was a big part of Microsoft when I started at Xbox, and I shared a floor with uh, Alex Cero Seropian and Jason Jones. Um, despite his natural closeness to Bungie, Spencer admitted that Destiny didn't really click with him when he first played it, and it took until the game's first expansion, House of Wolves, for it to land him. Consequently, Destiny went on to be published by Activision, as too was Guitar Hero, uh, another series Spencer passed on thinking it wasn't going to work. Uh, apparently, the, they came down to Redmond and pitched a game where they're actually going to make plastic guitars and they're going to plug into the consoles and then they're going to sell tracks where you're going to play Simon on this guitar. And I'm like, really? Do we really think that's going to work? Yeah. <laughs> he added, I heard that that's, I turned into a pretty good game. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Well, yep. Do that. I mean, hmm. Well, Dude, I don't know about like you are kind of you, you are just playing Simon, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's crazy. But like, that's someone that doesn't like that's that's such an ignorant take, bro. Yeah, that is. you are playing Simon Says, but but it's like fun. No, it your fun isn't <laughs> allowed, guys. <laughs> okay. So like, what are we just gonna say? Like Eddie Van Halen's playing Simon Says. <laughs> Or, like, Slash is playing Simon Says? Like. That's a good point. Yes. <laughs> yes. He's gonna, he's gonna show up, you know? There's oh. gonna be Slash in the background. Yeah, you know what? I'm kind of glad this happened, because I'm sure Phil Spencer's grubby little hands being on Guitar Hero would have made it not as fun as it was somehow. No, legit. And Guitar Hero 3 was such a crazy influence on me, bro. I, I'm glad that 
we're in that timeline, I think. Um, failing manufacturers are pushing the narrative that consoles are dying, says ex Xbox executive. You know what? I'll take it. I mean, it checks out. Yeah, they don't want to. Uh... Xbox wants to push that narrative because Xbox consoles are dying. I mean, I guess they're not lying. They're just talking about Xbox. Yeah. 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 If you look at it objectively, uh, they're wrong. Because PS5 is also doing like insanely well. So it's it's just Microsoft. Yeah, and what world are consoles are dying? Video games are making more money than ever, and like, and they're selling better than ever. They're still but Microsoft's a, isn't. But Microsoft yeah, I... isn't because it's trash. There's a decent chance the Switch beats the PS2 if Nintendo sells it for a couple more years like they did with the 3DS. So, uh, and then the PS5 is going to come and steal Nintendo's Thunder. There's a very real chance of that, too. Uh, Xboxes are also reportedly having issues after their latest update that came out. Um, uh, I might have lost the tab on this, but what I did read is that you do not do not try to uh reset or f I think factory reset your console or anything like that after the latest update because you could do that and then uh just not be able to connect online anymore. That's a cool How feature. Do? Why are you factory resetting your console anyways? Let me Who see if tested I tested that. Let me see if I can uh figure out which me. tab it is. Every day is week. My fault. Uh let's see. What are you doing? He's watching Brain Rot. No, no. Um my wallet w got thrown in the washer and I'm checking my tile to make sure it still works. Why does it sound like that? That's how that's you not find how it. Alex is, that's not how it's Alex's just, wallet just, no, just, you, it does. You can change the theme song. But mine should be the OG. Mine's also the OG. I've never changed it. I've never changed mine. Uh, you all have two different models then. Because that's not the same sound effect. You're a different model. Okay, so... I, I'm sad to say I can't find this headline again because it's being washed out by a bunch of other issues. Apparently, launch model Xbox One consoles are having issues downloading firmware updates. Uh, Fortnite is having issues on Xbox. Ooh, uh, not Fortnite, oh, man. dude. No. To be fair, that is five actually people... a big issue. Um, for like, no, it is a big issue goals. because a lot of it's one of those games people play because it's free. True. Like that is a big casual game. Yeah, I mean, I literally can't find... There's so many reports of Xbox issues out there on the news, and I'm kind of shocked to read all that stuff. Um, Shinji Mikami slams video game censorship in Japan. Quote, the rules are made by people who don't play games. That's so true. That's crazy. That's what's been argued since the 90s. Also, I mean, this might just because be because I have, have the viewpoint of a westerner but uh video game censorship in japan never really seems to be a big issue it's always more like when they bring games over they remove stuff because no. they're afraid Sakurai of that, has but... complained about this before that, that's true. Put my shirinari in the tekken stage because of the age rating yeah it would have required a higher age rating just because you know sexy woman i mean is that censorship or is that Apparently. just <laughs> yeah if you i mean it, it, that kind of comes with it i don't know i i guess i'm uh, i've seen I'm a lot of developers this. complain like japanese developers complain that the team behind zero is a bunch of old men who don't get it didn't sakura 
Yeah, yeah Taco Night was on Green Day. Said. But he's not the only one I've seen. It's just a very common complaint. Mm-hmm. Oh, the conversation turned to how differences between Japan's rating system and overseas rating systems meant that they had to censor parts of the game for the Japanese console releases for the Shadows of the Damned, which is the example here. I guess that's what he's developing now. Um, yeah, so I guess it's a str- just a stricter rating system in Japan. I'm not really sure if that's... I don't know. Maybe I'm out of touch. But it seems like having a stricter rating system is probably a good thing because like, it's not like they're banning the stuff. It's just you got to be old enough sucks i think yeah i think it. i had to get my parents to buy me call of duty when i was young just get it you know <laughs> yeah but if it gets like but... the too high rating they can't sell it on top or, uh... oh right if it gets too high they can't oh, okay oh i mean but if it gets too high again they said it was they said it was more strict in japan so maybe this isn't the case but in america if you get an ao rating that means it's porn so pretty much you get what you get i I mean don't make porn they they feel like the restrictions are for people that play are not for people that play the game but i don't know this seems all Really messy. Um, apparently, they also they had to remove sex scenes in The Witcher Three and Baldur's Gate Three. That's fair. Uh, Kennesaw State launches their first video game through KSU Game Studio. I read this and was like, that's cool. Um, so they, the video game is called Corporation Incorporated. It's on Steam. It looks like, to me, a mix of, like, a visual novel and, like, Papers, Please style gameplay. Because, like, you're basically a new, you're a... A new hire to has to that has to make hiring decisions, interactive narrative with time decisions, critical thinking, and pro social empathy. Uh, it's three dollars mm-hmm. on Steam right now. Um, I did this did make me think Kennesaw State. I think I've heard that football team before, so I went and googled it. They unfortunately lost their opening game, but now I guess I'm gonna have to pull for Kennesaw State because they've got a game publishing team. Interesting. You make games, and we like games, so we like games. We will cheer you on from the from afar. Beat Louisiana next week, boys. I'll I'll cheer for you. Uh, Nintendo can now ban streamers and content creators from using their games if they are caught posting immoral content and leaks. To be fair, that has always been the case. They've always they always the yes. Leaks. This is just them it, putting it on their thing again. But I think I mean they had a complaint a couple of years ago. Then I think we talked about where people were using the ink of the other team to show porn videos so that it would be... I remember that. <laughs> As like a green screen effect. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, this is the problem. Nintendo gamers are the most immoral. Bro, we're in shambles. That's so true. That... But you never, you never hear about people pirating Sony and Microsoft games. It's always a Nintendo. Well... You do, but they aren't throwing pitch fits every week. So they aren't, they aren't going and posting that uh, pirating is never immoral. Also emulating a uh, PS5 
or PS4 well, is basically non-existent. Yeah, a lot harder than the Wii U. Um, let's see. Nintendo ends repair support for new Nintendo 3DS systems due to lack of necessary parts. Rest in peace. Take care of your stuff. Highly recommend clear cases for everything. My clear case is no longer clear. Mm, get a new one. My old one wasn't either. But you can buy them from like six bucks a piece on eBay. I've got one on basically all my handhelds now because of paranoia. Uh, the president of Nintendo Europe has resigned. Uh, he decided to leave the company and call an end to his full-time professional career. Now, I don't know why that doesn't count as retirement. But that's the way it was stated. That, so that, that sounds like retirement to well, me. Well, it must be a professional career. Yeah, full-time professional, maybe career. professional career. Hmm. I was going to say maybe he's planning to still work. And that's why he's not officially becoming. I mean, he, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he takes the classical, like, not actually retiring route of, like, part time counseling, like business counseling or, or whatever. Like, I know a lot of people in the engineering industry that, like, when they're getting kind of old, but they're, they don't want to stop working, they just make a consulting firm and do engineering consulting part time. Yeah. But for all intents and purposes, they're retiring. That might be. Yeah. Um, so, Laurent Fisher is the new COO at Nintendo Europe. Seems like a, that's the permanent choice, not just interim. Um, so, yeah. I feel like we never hear anything about Nintendo Europe. No. Nintendo Vacation America show. turned into Nintendo Europe. Uh, let's see. Nintendo and Microsoft praise for improvements of to use of minerals from conflict zones <laughs> well that's good yeah we don't i i we are not gonna what are we not using any child mind cobalt that's probably a good thing uh yakuza kiwami is to be digital only for switch um first yes yeah, sad but that makes sense the only real confirmation that we have of it is from one of the developers on Twitter. So, you know, I guess it's not official, but I mean, that game releases in like what a month or something, months some of change. Yeah, nothing. Some like that. Um, so they would have announced one by now for sure. Uh, and kinda last, like how, uh, you go ahead. Kind of like how we don't have the Zelda amiibo uh, for Echoes of Wisdom. I would have announced it this close. Yeah, I saw the uh, Amiibo News Twitter account in shambles. Me too. I am also in shambles. Hold on. It doesn't mean we won't get a Zelda Amiibo. It's just not he's not planned at long. Yeah. But the Noah Mio Amiibo came out later. The Zelda and Ganondorf Amiibo came out later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's possible. In shambles, my dude. <laughs> I want one copium. though. She'd be Co very give cute. Me hit. I will be copium, but she'd be very cute with Toon Link or Toy Link. I agree. Yeah, this I mean, it seemed to have made sense. Way. Like, if nothing else, like Amiibo just always kind of makes sense for the big releases because. Oh, definitely. Cause Honey, sure just release it. it. It's just, just extra money. money. Yeah. You're not like you don't even have to add. But like content you already acknowledge that you don't yeah have to you charge 25 dollars for the skyward sword amiibo i could yeah exactly and it like, all like, it did was give you faster access to go back to skyloft true but uh, um why, why an amiibo with hey pikmin and not like a uh the dog hey, guy hey, 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 Pikmin hey. four? because like, like that's a, like a, i don't i don't know what they would have Oh wait, no, yeah, they could have just done, said, like, a yarn here, plush, yeah. here's where the treasure is, I guess. I don't know. Oh, like, have it show up on your map early. They could have done something with that. Yeah, that's probably not much they could have done. But more like, amiibo. I'm just saying more amiibo. I, wa I want to spend money. I want to spend money. It's a cycle. Make money, spend money. That's true cog but, like, energy. 
<laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, no, they could have done like the Yarn Yoshi. Like they do like a, I don't know, he's not Yarn, but like they could. I was gonna done say, something. why would they do that for a game that's not based around Yarn? <laughs> <laughs> Chris Cooper just likes the yarn amiibo. I do. He's like, if I did a tier list, the yarn, the four, five yarn amiibo are at the top, and everything top. else is shoved down. Everything else is F tier. What about Squishy? Oh, the Metroid. Yeah. yeah. F minus. Dang. He's <laughs> lower. He's worse than Even everything lower. else. He's not plush. And he's squishy, which makes him weird. <laughs> That's what you just said. Uh, lastly, yeah, the Borderlands cool. CEO says his hopes on the Epic Store were, quote, overly optimistic or misplaced. Yeah, because people don't actually Cause... buy games on the Epic Store. No, they, they want get it for free. They just get the free games mm -hmm. and call it a day. Hasn't Borderlands been on Epic Games for, like, a long time, though? I thought... I don't know. Let's find out here. Hey, Kyle. Oh, hey, yeah, Kyle. Kyle. Kyle's been able to make yeah. it. Good timing. He's here. Hello. And he, oh, he does talk. <laughs> <laughs> he found his voice as well. Let's go. What I was about to say, I was like, and apparently does not talk, but he is yeah. funny. Pulling Ariel, Kyle starts singing. So good timing. Right? We're finishing up opening thoughts. Nice. Um, I didn't miss much. True. So back I in 2019, Borderlands 3 was announced to be exclusive to the Epic Games Store. Um, that was and mistake. now Borderlands is back on Steam with Borderlands 4 <laughs> planning to launch on both storefronts. So that seems like that's what they were commenting on. Gosh. We weren't doing the show at that time, but I do remember this from back then. Because people were really mad. But Borderlands 3 was... It came out on Steam like a week after it came out on Xbox only. But it was announced as an exclusive for Epic, which was... On PC. Yeah, yeah. which is Epic, what made not, people yeah. really mad. Not Xbox. Um, yeah, and also, like... Borderlands 3 wasn't bad from what I saw, but also I was able to get Borderlands 3 for $10 within six months of its release, so it obviously did not yeah. perform very well in the first place. No, it did not. Maybe Barrett that's loved why it. They I don't know why, movie, but... <laughs> or, like, postponed the movie, and then they finally did it, and it failed anyways. Yeah, I got a group of buddies up here. Uh, back when that game came out, they were all still living together, um, and they all bought it like on launch and played some multiplayer because you could do the ca uh, the campaign multiplayer. Um, yeah. And they played it like a little bit, and from what I recall, they never really played that too far into it. I don't know, it just like it was fine, but it wasn't grabbing. So, imagine everybody. Imagine if we did that on the hey everybody at launch by this campaign, we're gonna play it together. And not I, mean, I know it. I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna get shit for it when I say this, but I don't think that Borderlands is a very good game series. Um, primarily I've never because played it made like Gearbox, and I don't think that it. Gearbox is a very good game developer. Um, and now that Risk of Rain is owned by Gearbox, and they just released, yeah, yeah, it used to be owned by Hopu, and they sold it to Gearbox. And after this most recent update, since Gearbox has had it, I'm not. Uh, I'm not enthusiastic about the direction that the game is going in. It is extremely glitchy. Uh, there was a glitch on Xbox where, and it was only Xbox that this happened on for like one of the glitches. And then the other glitch was for um, everybody. just couch, couch co-op for anybody. But literally for the Xbox, they turned on their game and they could not interact with the main menu. Like, Imagine turning this, this is the risk of rain DLC. Work. Yeah, <laughs> risk of rain. No, this is this is just an update for the game. This is oh, risk of rain two. Sick. After like in this most recent update. Um, I mean, not for years. I know. Yeah. Like that uh, was at home. Borderlands three like Metacritic has an eighty one Metascore, mm. but only a five point six user score. So. 
rough. It sounds like the Borderlands Three, like, like the the gameplay is is great, um, and like the sound design and the and the graphics are all really good, but the story is uh super mid. Yeah. Well, Borderlands isn't really known for its story anyway. Surprise! But... Game reviewers would give it a high score then because they usually are all in on it's got to have a big story and why aren't you doing a big story nintendo well it's also like for that game it's just kind of about running around and killing shit Mm -hmm. so it doesn't really need that much story but the other glitch that happened with the new risk of rain update is for couch co-op which is the first time that they've actually had couch co-op introduced in the game and it's been in a "Quote unquote working state." There was a glitch where the second you plugged in your second controller to try to play couch co-op, if you had more than forty hours logged in the game, it would delete all save progress. <laughs> it, <laughs> <that's not fair. laughs> it would it would all f four your your save data. You that's think you uh, think that'd be something they check? Hey, for this couch co-op update, if I plug in a second controller, does the game nuke itself? Ah, <laughs> uh, that was on purpose. But that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. If more than 40 hours, delete. Yeah. Shittiest Easter egg that's ever. Mm, and there was a PS5. <laughs> um, exactly. There was a PS5 glitch. Where it would lock you out of playing any other com- uh, character except for Commando, so you you only had one <laughs> you only had one option. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, great. Feature. Thank you, great Gearbox. Feature. Yeah, thank you, Gearbox. All right, on to Collector's Corner, the weekly segment where we talk about the games we've been playing, the games we've been buying, what we've been up to, all that good stuff. Spin the wheel. Who do we have? Who do we have? Kyle, you're up. Oh, dude, nice. let's go. <laughs> I have played um, Monster Hunter Rise. I've played the new Risk of Rain update. Um, I haven't played any uh, Elden Ring this week just because I've been playing other stuff. Uh, I have played. I played a little bit of uh, Gloomhaven. Ooh. Played a little bit of Deep Rock Galactic. Um, I played some Among Us. True. Um, I played some Chivalry 2 with Barrett and Cooper. That was fun. Also true. Let's see. I didn't buy anything this week. Um... I think that's about it. I'm not seeing anything else on my Steam list that I've played this week. Did you join us for golf? No. Oh. Uh, I I mean I joined in the call and talked to y'all for a little bit, but five minutes. Yeah, that that's was true. The, oh was right, you were I like dead. Home. Yeah. Yeah, that was the day that I got home at twelve thirty, and I was like, I'm not doing anything except for taking a shower and going to bed. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> All right, spin we the wheel. Nice. Cameron, you're up. All right. So, Alex and I played some Mario Kart uh, with our buddy Lewis. We, let's see, played Among Us, played, uh, I've made some great progress in the Great Ace Attorney uh, 2. Uh, finished the case. I'm making significant progress on the second uh, or the fourth case. Uh, actually, I might have finished two cases because it was on the second one. Uh, played Splatoon 3, um, the Splatfest pre stuff has started. Um, you know, you gotta mention that you almost fucked me. Oh, I did, um, I did oh. almost do that. Uh, so in in Splatoon, right for the Splatfest, when you're picking your Splatfest team, you have to 
actually choose it. You cannot switch it later. I was not paying attention and almost put Alex on Team Future after I'd already set myself on Team Past. That would have been terrible. That would have been terrible. So, that was bad. Uh, but, you know, it was fine. It, di- it did not happen. So, we're, we're, we're good. We're chilling. Um, that was good. Not like Actually, any of us are going to play it except for you anyway. Everyone's playing it except for you, Kyle. Yeah, yeah, we're, play, we're playing the final spot. Uh-uh. 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 Cow, you're playing? <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny that you think that, Cooper. That's really funny that you think that. <laughs> well, everyone's playing except you. That's for the, the best. I don't, we can only tap out at four anyway. Kyle's not welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Kyle's not welcome. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Kyle's choosing Team Future. <laughs> I'm praying on y'all's downfall. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, I don't think I had any major purchases, but I did. Uh, and I forgot to mention this, but I I opened all the Zelda amiibo uh, that I have down here, so that I could actually you know access them for when I was doing the Zelda stuff last week oh yeah um because i suffered through it for tears of the kingdom because i was like well i could you know eventually resell them or something but i'm like i'm never gonna do that i might as well just have them open and use them when uh uh echoes of wisdom comes out later this month um i oh we bought alex a new charger Oh, I, I had that. Alex you fine. didn't pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> Alex fine though. We well, took Haley to the ER because health services wasn't checking her wrist, even though it was getting worse. So that was that was a good use of two hours. Nice. Um. Yeah. Fun. Fun. She is okay. Her wrist is not broken. Her hand is not broken. So it's not bad. It could be worse. Um, let's oh golf I play golf with friends Um, and we played oh I actually did buy something I bought prop hunter for a couple bucks oh yeah I have that I just didn't buy it (laughs) (laughs) yeah I I I played that as well I was like damn okay it's a dollar (laughs) (laughs) That, that delicate balance of do I have enough money if I buy this to be able to pay a rent. I mean, to be fair, I have like 60 bucks left over after I paid rent today, so. Damn. I understand. Yeah, it was still pretty I, rough. <laughs> I understand. You got to um, commit tax fraud, dude. You're right. Gosh. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't... I don't think I had anything... Else, gaming wise, yeah, but then it, um, it oh, my fault. Do it. Sorry, it didn't even work for Kyle. For oh, that's reason. true. It did not. It did just, not. It just hated Kyle. Um, yeah, yeah, that's true. And then if I was hosting it, Grant couldn't join. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. well, Grant, Grant is the cult leader anyway, so he has to be. There. <laughs> 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 okay, you well, you brought that on yourself, my dude. Uh, I spun the wheel. I'm up. Um, Let's go. So I have played a lot of Bellatro. I did get a hand that was a million chips. I had oh, yeah. a set of jokers oh, that basically let me do a plus three times two molt action six times. Uh, Crazy. So, yeah, I was just stacking that up. Um, that was good. Got some more unlocks. I beat a... I beat a deck with uh, red stake difficulty, which means I just get a little little bit less money um, Mm -hmm. with that same deck. So uh, now I'm on to the next difficulty. I also have another deck unlocked from that, so I'm going to have to beat that. You play with the DLC decks? It's just skins, right? I still have actually not even looked for those skins. 
Like straight up. I have not even looked. I'll, I'll look after the show. See if I can find it. It's not very apparent. I guess it's in the options or something because it's not like advertised on the screen or anything. It should They're have like, been eh, give cool us the money. if they like cool jokers and stuff that were exclusive. Like um, this is the sus joker. I've just been so focused on playing like most of my runs are losses, but it's because I'm doing bad decisions That's to hard. get unlocks. Like I have to like you don't discover jokers until you buy them. So just from you unlocking them doesn't count. You have like when I see jokers I haven't discovered, I buy them even though if it's something I that's not gonna help me at all. Um But then you at least have it for later on. Yeah, but a lot of times I'll buy one and then immediately sell it because there's a different Joker in the shop that I actually want, but I want to say that I've discovered it so I can fill out the unlock screen. Mm -hmm. I need it to be unlocked, but I don't want it. I want the ones I like. I have. But isn't that... I mean, because, like, the way the my rounds are often starting out now i will like if i get a bunch of random jokers i'll just try to get some synergy the best that i can with it and figure it out and sometimes they i like you don't really understand what they do and don't apply to until you mess with them so i've found out some like really cool tricks i can do that it's yeah, it's encouraging me to to figure out new things Find new stuff um, played nice. a bunch of prop hunter, played a bunch of golf with your friends, played some Among Us, uh, played Mario Kart DS, yeah. uh, Ooh, played Super Mario Brothers 2. The World 6 music does not need to be that disgusting, dude. That is some crazy, funky music. I was blown away. I literally got up to uh, and went to Jewel in the bedroom and I was like, listen to this. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. Um, hey, wake up. I need you to. <laughs> we got new music just dropped uh i got all the hidden bots and astrobots so i finally 100 percent of that oh i played astrobot that's that i i forgot i did astrobot um i bought emio the smiling man i played through the first the prologue in the first two chapters um oh so you are way past me i, I really like the story um it's it's pulling into that this whatever part of me also really likes like true crime grant may go beat this one and then pick up the other two in the series i legit might who knows um i'm not really a big visual novel guy but i'm enjoying it so far the story is really good oh yeah um already talked about the auburn game I've done more reorganization in the game room now. There's retro stuff, cartridges on this side and disc based on that side. I tried to really, it's more like Nintendo's on the bop top of both of these. And then Xbox is down here. PlayStation's down here. I put the stuff on top of them to try to be like, I don't know. I had the retro, the, this is the what mini you consoles, me, right? The Wii games weren't all lining up and you were like, I had a oh, solution. I owned Sims 2 Pets on the Wii and Jewel likes to collect the Sims games. So I took that one out and gave it to her and said, here, you put this in yours. And then Wii Sports is where it fit. Now I just can't buy any more Wii or Wii <laughs> games. He said, you take this. I need a... I mean, she wants them anyway. Why I, uh, Why should I take up a spot? Um, so why do you have that for the Wii? He's it, collecting Wii games. I, I got it in a lot of... Uh, Wii games I did in like a, a bidding thing a couple years ago. It's how I won that Zelda con Zelda Wii controller. Oh. Ah, the real reason to get it. And then you have the I coaster mean, for it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've got like GameCube, Wii, Wii U, Switch in a nice little order. Um, basically all cartridges up over here. I did pull my Pokemon Switch games out and put them with the other ones. So like these two right there are all Pokemon games. Um, Pokemon so, Shell uh, on the Switch? Understand. Um, no, just like from like Gen 1 to oh. now, all of them oh. that I that I own are uh, the mirroring is screwing me up. Why can't I point right, yeah. dude? I can't, I can't, oh, I can't bend my finger that way. There it is. I try to bend my finger in a way it doesn't bend. But yeah, the, those far two ones are all oh, uh, Pokemon games. Um, and are I also have this new, stack? yeah, they're all, I 3D printed like little display shelves so I can oh, see them. Sick. It's really hard yeah. for me to decide I want to play a GBA game if I can't see what I have. And a lot of people oh, like yeah, to just yeah. store them in like 
bags or little containers. And what? It's, yeah. Nah. Uh, and then I also got this new little four prong USB C thing. So I have my NSO controllers and a Switch Pro and my 8 bit Do SN30 Pro Plus all tied up to there to charge. So I've made nice. some progress. Um, yeah. I've progress. still got a few things to figure out. There's some empty space down there I got to work on and stuff. But I just kind of made myself sat in here for like an hour a day looking at everything and just eventually being like, okay, that can go there, that can go there, and see if I can follow a trail that doesn't dead end at some some blocker. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I think that is all i got so spin the wheel oh and I uh, while you're while you're spinning um i did real uh we got the furniture that we bought oh yeah so, is it all put together yeah. it's all put together they put it together um it's gonna be a bitched move because the drawers don't come out the bed is bolted together it's gonna be an absolute what? bitch to move so they Have decided for that, that. Yeah, I've got to hire movers. Yeah, I'm I know whenever I move my uh, my mattress, like is the exact width from the bottom of the stairs to the apex of the ceiling where they come down. So oh, like no. we had to squeeze it through there, and by squeeze I meant like it took three full grown ass men shoving it through there. So I can't oh, yeah. wait to to at That's least it'll move. be we're going down the stairs when we move. So. It, won't, it, it should, should be, be less down. Pain. As long yeah. as it doesn't go through the wall, you're good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm not excited to move, but I'm definitely moving next year mm -hmm. once this lease is up. So I Are have... Those... Hmm. Hmm. No, oh, sorry. You have what? No, what? You got it? Uh, I'm, I'm just... Where, where are you looking oh, for yeah. where to move? Because I, I can't afford this, dude. Dude, Alabama. I can't move that far from work. My fault. I'm already in 45 minutes. I cannot move further away. Are those uh, I mean, the Mario? Out, though? Do which, anyway. which ones? The on the your left. Okay. Other left. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Are those the Mario pins? That, like the anniversary pins? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's where they're going to sit. I just wanted them off the floor. Uh, okay. So they're there Dude, for that's now. Clean. Is that a three D printed thing too? Holding them up. Yeah, I three D printed a bunch of. I found like a really simple book stand kind of display that's meant to hold books, and I've used them for multiple different things. But that's how I'm holding up all my mini consoles up there. Oh yeah, I put oh. my NES uh, cartridge from Championship Yo, NES up there. I, yeah. I found a spot for that. Let's go. Um, but yeah, I just Imagine I have like when you clear some space. I have like five more of them laying around because I used to use a lot more of them. So yeah, now it's convenient. I'm like, oh, I have things to display stuff with. Okay. No, definitely. All right, Cooper, you're up. That's huge. Oh darn it! What do you mean, darn it? Because Alice gets, gets on the list. <laughs> I'm on the list. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Alex, what is Alex's percent now? One second. Now Alex has gotten last 6.9% of times. Nice. I've only gotten 24% <laughs> of times. I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. So what have I been playing? You played Astrobot with Alex's I, help. I did play Astrobot. Dude, the monkey? That's impossible. There's no way a regular person can figure that out. Oh, the secret bot. About. Yeah, secret bot. Oh, I googled all of them. I'm not put. I'm not dealing with all. Yeah, that. I no, read them and I was like, no, absolutely I, no way. I'm gonna know where that shit is. Okay. No, bro. Tell me where I, it is. I found where he was before Alex told me, but I didn't know how to activate him. I because I jumped into the portal. I was like, well, yeah. They're like, well, if you go uh, another third of the way through the level, then go up here where you're not <laughs> supposed to go and beat the shit out of this tree that has a monkey with grapes on it. The bananas yeah, fall yeah. out. Okay. It's like <laughs> okay, but how? It's like how do you? How are you supposed to determine I like, that? I didn't know the dance pattern, which is why it's in the thing. And Cooper's like, "How do you not know? You watched me play. I was dancing all the time. Anything happened?" Do 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 do. I was like, <laughs> "Just facts." Out. Cooper was always dancing whenever he Literally. played it. What you got? 
Let's see. I played Among Us. We did I, play Among Us. <laughs> I like how, like, the, one of the first rounds, I got an imposter and, like, killed everybody. It was like, Cooper just wanted us to play so he could just flex on us. <laughs> That's actually I've got some words about that, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, okay. We'll, we'll, okay, get we'll, save, we'll get to we'll that. Save it. We'll save it. All right. I played Shovelberry 2 with Cal and Barrett, which was a lot of fun. Yeah, we it's, need to uh, play that some more. <laughs> No, definitely. I suck at it, but like I pick up a rock and I just throw it at people, and that's a lot of fun. So let's see. Yes, I play. You, you suck at it, but that's actually a really good strategy. So. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Play golf. I did play golf. Won every single round, like always. Boy, you post screenshots <laughs> of how the game went in the chat. Photoshopped. Photoshop. Oh wait, I posted them. Uh, you photoshopped yourself. I photo. I, I photoshopped. Yes. Look, I, I felt. I'm, I felt so bad. I had to. I don't care. I got second on the last game. Dude, you were locked in. I was. I did so well until I fell off for a bit. But I yeah. was beating Grant for a while. <laughs> Look at all them ones. <laughs> Is that when we were still doing random shapes as well? No, that was... No, that's we played a regular way. round of golf it's on... In the night, yeah. Uh, what is that map? I don't know. It's remember. the $9 map. Was it? I thought it was the trees. No, the... Uh, Peaceful Pines is $9. When not mm, on sale. Dang. And that's, that's the map crazy. we play. Not worth $9. I sure. didn't, yeah, I didn't pay that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know but I like it. I clean yet. up so well. Well, just because it's a cool map doesn't mean it's worth the money. <laughs> oh, it's not no. worth $9. But it was no. worth 4 I mean, especially because you only need like one you. person to buy yeah. it. So it was, you know, like... Yeah. I, just, oh, I, cool. I didn't really care. I mean... Four versus nine dollars wouldn't have even really broken my budget anyway. My budget yeah. can flex five dollars. And if it can't, okay, uh, but all good. the reviews, if you've ever looked on Peaceful Pines, are people bitching about the price for one map. That's that's fair. I honestly don't want people. Yeah, I mean, um, it's just lucky that we have a setup here where it's just I, as long as I have it, we where it's fine. We're good. Yeah. So. And seeing that you're a cult leader, we usually only play when you're here. So uh, I made a mistake <laughs> mentioning that. I made See, a mistake we can play it. No, it's just all I'm going to be known as. <laughs> See, we can play it without Grant because I also own it, Bro. but I don't think I can host. Oh, your laptop? No, up on that it would catch fire. Bro, we should try it one time with Alex <laughs> just to see. See really what happens. Funny. That would be hilarious. Someone needs to have a stopwatch going to see how long it lasts, though. <laughs> well, have, I've sent you guys photos, right, of how I play oh, golf. Yeah, yours are also yeah. pretty, and mine is whatever the lowest textures are. Literally. What else you got, Coop? Let's see. I, I worked a little bit. Worked the weekend. I thought game day weekend was gonna be crazier. It really wasn't all that crazy. It wasn't that bad, no. It was worse for me because I was downtown, but... True. Count your days, man. Three weeks. I know. I know. Or no, I know. four weeks. Three weeks is the SEC opener, though, so it might also be crazy. Also might be crazy, yeah. Let's Painful. see. I don't think I've been playing too much else, though. Nothing crazy. Ooh, what else? Did I... Oh, dude. I, I think I already showed you all a picture of it, but... Dude, these these Fusakli shirts literally go so hard. Like, I like them. They did look pretty cool. And like the thing the is, merch. because we have like high turnover rates, somewhat sort of kinda. Like the Fusakli Corporation was like, yeah, we're not doing special shirts anymore. You're just gonna get these like basic mass print ones that just say like Fu exactly Crew and stuff. Them. Yeah. As opposed to. What the specific location? As opposed to like the special like Auburn one or like the where is it the Mardi Gras ones? The Mardi Gras ones go hard, but then I guess because we're like the top location, because we probably bring in the most sales. I think it's because you're right on property or right off of campus. Yeah, 
Like we, I think we've broken. I think we're like top three of all the records. Like we just keep breaking it. So they're like, you know what? <laughs> you guys get these Auburn shirts. And I'm like, all right, let's go. Cause like, it's a good shirt. No, literally. Cause like the Mardi Gras ones are sick. And then I found out we're not getting them anymore. I was like, so upset. But that's why was- I'm here. Quit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no free shirts. No Cooper. Exactly. That's right. But it looks like we're doing special shirts again. So goaded. All right, Alex, finish this out. Is Cooper done? I think so. That should be. No, he's never done. Actually, <laughs> right. I have one more thing. Okay. I I slipped in today. It was nice. Oh my God! Yes, <laughs> days has been so great. I also slept in too much, but it was a problem. I shouldn't have with slept the, all day. With the combination of school and work, I've done like nothing, like no sleeping in recently. True. Oh, y'all had today off, right? Monday, Wednesdays. Dude, I literally have. Well, yeah. I mean, I have Monday. Or sorry, Sunday through Thursday off this week because I worked nice. so long on Saturday. Yeah, I'm I'm going crazy. I sleep again. All sleep. right, <laughs> let's go. Let's run through Alex. Yeah, you got it, Alex. My fault. <sighs> on Friday, I had to close bakery, but I was supposed to leave at eleven fifteen p.m. Guess what time I got over there? Twelve ten fifty five. Holy crap! But guess who left after midnight because they didn't get to bake. No, no, that's not accurate. Or that's not that's not accurate enough. We didn't leave art until almost one one a.m. It was like twelve forty-five. Yeah, I remember getting a snap great. from Alex of him being pissed at the oh, moment, yeah. and I was like, "Okay, yeah, so they're not gonna get me back before we're done tonight when we're playing golf." <laughs> yeah. Nope. Right, because y'all left, but y'all also only played like two games. Yeah, y'all... No, we played a bunch of games. We were playing longer really? than y'all think. I don't know why y'all... Yeah, bro, we we played golf for like at least an hour and a half or two hours. We got in, we got in like what a half a What did you disappear games. to do, Cooper? I went to do like literally all my homework. I waited till the last minute to do it and then went, oh, that's a lot of work. Yeah, that timing was unfortunate that you happened to unmute right as we were all like, yeah, we time to go to bed. <laughs> no, literally. I was hey guys, and y'all all were leaving. I was like, <laughs> so <laughs> distraught, dude. Literally ruined my whole week, ruined my weekend, ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cover some things I bought. Uh bought prop hunter. I'm never gonna play it, but it's a dollar, and if y'all keep playing it and I eventually get a better PC. I don't want to pay four dollars for garbage. Also, it could go more expensive, like which it did. It could go more expensive, yeah. So, yeah, because I don't so think so which it was if always twenty dollars. You definitely can't play it. <laughs> yes, thank you, Kyle. Okay, but those are two different reasons, though. You I can't mean, yeah. play it because you can't connect to Grant. Alex can't play it because his laptop would catch on fire. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's true. Uh, and I we bought the last. The same. The last few things of Golf with Your Friends DLC, just so I own it all. So my Steam says, manage 15 DLC items. Alex has been flexing on us all weekend with all his new items. I like the invisible ball. It's fun. Uh, And Cooper and I spent money on Haley's birthday gift two months early. We did do that. Nerd! (laughs) <laughs> wow we're gonna throw it at her when we go home That's so we're gonna actually throw it at her by the way like full force no we're not <laughs> That's crazy. we're not actually gonna we're gonna do like her, we're gonna but... do like how i did to taylor and disc golf we're just gonna throw it at mock you know mock and mock Jesus right mock out of mock. <laughs> yeah exactly okay let's do this part first and then we'll play say what i played uh it's Saturday, Cameron and I hung out with Lewis. And then on Sunday, Cameron and I hung out with Lewis, Sylvia, Isaac, and Sylvia's brother. That's so true. We did Who? That. Which one? <laughs> don't, yeah, I was going to say, don't you, <laughs> you engage? That was a mistake. You let yourself open, my dude. Responding was your first mistake. 
Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I was. I, I thought everyone understood the assignment because it was silent <laughs> for so long. <laughs> um, I've downloaded Astrobot and the casting of Frank Stone. Nice. And then I've played Resident Evil 4, Mario Kart, Among Us, Epic Mickey's Demo, Golf with Your Friends, Miles Edward 2, Astro's Playroom. Week? Yeah. Wait, I thought that was last week. Wait, what, no. what did we do? Which one? Wait, Mario Kart? Epic, Epic Mickey? Mickey? I oh. hadn't played it. Oh. I was Okay, I was gonna say I thought my bad. I thought that was last uh yeah, because I played it the day that uh we did the show. That's that's why it's like mm. fast computer. Uh, Hi Fi Rush, Final Fantasy Rebirth, and I walked Cameron and Cooper through getting the final bot in Astro Bot. Nice. Dang. Okay, on to download station. Uh, game of the week was Among Us. Um, Let's go. Go Woo-hoo. ahead and do this announcement. There's a Miles as Ed- Miles Edgeworth costume that's coming out September 9th, just a week from recording next Monday. Uh, uh, someone at yeah. uh, Inner Sloth is a big fan of Ace Attorney because one of the endings in him Stickman is. You call Phoenix to be your lawyer. Oh, true. Phoenix Rod. Um, this game is significantly less fun when you've got some people that uh, I'm not going to name any names, but some people that know literally every single damn thing about the game to a T, and some yep. people that literally downloaded the game the night that we played <laughs> it for the first yep, time. True. Um, hey, that's um, why I didn't sell out Paige dude, during, when the round she was dude, an imposter no, and killed okay, to be you fair, in front Paige, of me. Paige was going hard. She, she, Paige she was crit, a natural dude, imposter, dude. No, she was crit. Dude, literally that match that me and Paige got imposter together, she did every kill. I legit, my hands were clean, bro. Like, I, I was kidding. Yeah, I would, like, it was crazy. I would like to point out Honestly, that. Uh, go, Cal. Go ahead. No, you're good. You're good. I, uh, I cut you off. I didn't mean to. No, you're good. Uh, I would like to point out that I had a round where I was basically uh, Sherlock Holmes on it, and I got murdered, and then we lost. Yeah, bro. Cameron tried to come out. He he <laughs> came out with that. his opening statement, <laughs> and then everybody immediately jumped on Cameron, and everybody was mad at Cameron at the end of the round well, for not presenting any evidence. But literally, nobody gave him the time of day to present said evidence, and second. I got killed I first, so I was thing. just sitting there fucking like... Oh my no. god, bro. No one. The same thing when Paige it killed so... me and then everyone blamed Alex for it. It was so funny because I knew it was her because she had killed Grant. And I was like, I'll be nice. I won't say anything. People don't have fun if you just call them out. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I walked back down on your body and I was like, God damn it, she killed Kyle. And now there's people blocking up. I can't explain <laughs> this away. Yeah, and yeah. Then I was like, because me and Paige were posted there, I was like, I'm pretty sure it's Alex, guys. And I was just like, no, I, I, w- 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 no. I was like, <laughs> pretty sure it is. <laughs> I'm voting Alex. <laughs> yeah, Alex is not good at lying. <laughs> so he's like, I wasn't I, even I, trying I, to lie. Yeah, I know. But if you can't go against Paige, then you have to lie against somebody else. You can't just be silent. Yeah. That's guilty as shit. Yeah. And then with Cameron, I was also imposter on the one that he caught other Alex. Like he caught other outs. I was like, dang it. Dude, I saw him you. in the act, and then I saw Cooper basically in the act. Because uh, we played on Fungal, which is the only map we're not like fully accustomed to. Cause... No, dude. Like that, that was good. That's, I think uh, we're all but, like. Uh, you know, he did that Puff Cloud thing, and I'm like, that's funny. Alex wasn't dead two seconds ago, and Cooper's walking out of the Puff Cloud. And lo and behold, I get tossed out because. Well, That's you were like, suspicious. guys, Cooper just killed. And Kyle's like, I'm with Cooper. And then you're like, Kyle, shut up. And then <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm voting you then. <laughs> and then everybody else yeah. voted me. And I was like, yeah, let's vote, let's vote Cameron. I, I'm literally, I, I was with Jacob. Up, so I was like, you know what, Cameron, fuck you. <laughs> 
Yeah, and then like what Cooper mentioned earlier, that first game where like everything got shut off within six seconds. Every single door was closed. The lights were <laughs> off. Yeah. There was no oxygen. Comms were down. I'm just like bang, 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 bang. And Cooper was, won in fucking obvious. 90 seconds. Yeah, it was obvious that Cooper was the imposter at that point. What? Dude. There just wasn't anything we could do no, about dude. it. That was definitely Jewel. Definitely. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Grant was talking about the uh, the discrepancies between you alex and cameron knowing like everything about that game and then the rest of us except for Paige and alex knowing like some about the game and then Paige and alex downloading it that evening yeah <laughs> yeah it's like it's so crazy because no it, it, like as a big group it wasn't as noticeable oh but whenever no, it was but... whenever it was just like, like the us five. Five of us, yeah it was it was me you cameron alex and barrett, barrett. all playing dude you couldn't do anything like, you literally could not play the game because if you killed one person and couldn't <laughs> kill the rest of them, you were out of the game. Like, mm-hmm. but I yeah, I was trying to say something from the other room, but it didn't catch on mic, apparently. Alex, are you there? Oh, me? Alex, are you there? Yeah. Are you Sorry, I Steam lagged out my computer, so something no, must good. be running. Now, I was trying to say that there were a couple rounds I would try to fix. Cooper's thing, but he would find me by myself or and be in somewhere stupid. And he'd be like, yeah. Alex knows too much. Kill. Literally, <laughs> there was a match that Alex literally thought I was, like, because I did, like, the, I think it was the scan pass or whatever on Polis. And Alex saw, like, Alex saw me do it. And he's like, oh, Cooper's innocent. And Alex literally went into the perfect spot for me to kill him. Like, no one's going to find his body in DCAM. And I was like, I, I was like, whoever's walking out, I'm killing. And as Alex, I was like, well, there goes my clear. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You did do something, and I was like, ah, oh, he's got to be. He's got to be innocent. safe. Yeah. Why, why, why would an imposter do that? Why would an imposter fake that? Because <laughs> Cooper's insane. Cooper, Cooper plays the long game. Dude, guys. Now, that's I, why I, I like turning on. Task at such a low game. percent. A mind game. <laughs> you turn on tasks, or you turn on uh, rolls at such a low percent. It does throw a little variety. It, it, there's a yeah. It's it's a lot of fun. Because you aren't expecting roll. Like you know, like, know they can happen, but you won't be like, oh, they'll be every round. Yeah. Like, like high three, high key through the game at a couple times though, because you refused to do your tasks. That's so true. Yeah. That's so true. We would have won. If, there was so many times where if you had just done your fucking task, we could have won the game, and you just refused to do your damn task. My, my fault. My Cooper's fault. like, Even, I'm going to yeah. figure out who the killer is. No, just See, finish your task and we'll but win. But that's fun, though. Literally. Like, Production even, game. I mean, it is fun to figure out who it is, but it's also Definitely. fun to just win the game. and Because you'll figure out who it is regardless. There were also Guys. like three different rounds oh. where I tried to pick somebody to trust and like, hey, stick oh with God. me. And, and I immediately, dude, immediately, dude I, I, I do not, it. yeah, I cannot judge imposters off the bat. I've no, <laughs> always literally. got murdered. That's, dude, that's why I was just were, been up by myself. You were like the first kill a good four or five like, rounds. So many. Rounds I know. Yeah. I know. Grant, wasn't, Grant, wasn't there around you and I were, uh, like we cleared each other and then we separated very briefly and you died. Probably. <laughs> Dude, there was a couple rounds where I was like crewmate and I was like, there's no way Grant is like imposter. So I would just find Grant and start walking around with him. I would leave him for like two seconds and then he would, and he would die. Get murdered. And, would, yeah, and, and someone would find the body. I was like, well, damn. <laughs> I left him alone and he died. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, <laughs> I should have just stayed I, with him. Dude. I was like, that's rough. Those, the, all those matches I spent with Jacob, I think a lot of them I got imposter on, so I was like, all right. You, I, were, I impo- just... you were imposter on, like, a good 33% of the matches. No, I think, like, yeah. A lot of those fungal matches, yeah. I don't know why you I have think, that um, percentage. Just those matches, like, those, all the matches we, that we played that night in general. Yeah, literally. I think, like, you were imposter most of the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I find it, it interesting. I think it's the mapping I take. But I was, like, always by myself, but I feel like probably after Grant, I was killed the second most, but I feel like I should have been killed more. Mm. Yeah. Because I don't like grouping up. 
I just like speedrunning tasks. It's really exactly. Fun. So yeah. my mapping is kind of I know how to get there. I speedrun tasks and then just follow people around and be super suspicious the rest of the time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that, Kyle's following me. That poor round yeah, where done. Uh, Joel was killer, but we were on uh, Polis, and she couldn't find anyone solo to kill them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, no. there was, there Polis was one is rough with Cooper a lot was... of people. You said what? Polis is rough if there's a lot of people and you're the only oh, yeah. killer. Oh yeah, yeah, no, it's ro- solo imposter is hard. <laughs> but okay, we did uh, we did solo imposter on airship, and I actually won that game. I killed everybody. No, airship's so nice True. because it's so big. It's big. You can yeah. hide bodies so easily. Um, oh, yeah. there was one game hey, where come Cooper to was the, the safe. There was one uh game where Cooper was the imposter. I was a crewmate. I finished my tasks in like. May- maybe like two minutes, three minutes mm-hmm. tops. And then I found Cooper, started following Cooper around. <laughs> I just had no clue. Like, I he had killed like three people and I vetted him <laughs> for it. I was like, yeah, I've been with Cooper like basically the whole round. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like these tiny little moments where he would like walk off out of my vision. <laughs> and then come I, think back. I, I think I called that out for one round and they were like, no, I can't be Cooper. I was oh like, yeah! No, I literally, I, uh, I vetted for Cooper the entire game. I was like, literally. it's not Cooper. I've been with Cooper. There's, there's no time. way. Yeah. <laughs> and then, lo and behold. <laughs> yeah. Overall, good game, fun to play, but w try to game. match skill levels with your group. Yeah. yeah. And if you can't Imagine match skill levels, is like basically levels at least get somebody. Uh, at least get enough people that uh, it bounces. The imposter out. isn't going to be the most skilled. You know, yeah. you need people on the imposter skill level as well as because it's. I feel like it's. Oh gosh, Skipper, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't uh, know. I was I, making the lighter. I, was... I feel like it's right. a very easy game to learn. Yeah, uh, definitely. Cooper just has so much more time than you know people Guys, that are literally starting day off. I only have two hundred thirty-five hours in the game. Like that's insane. <laughs> that's and that's just on the one insanity. platform. That is that one platform. Yeah, that's just Steam stuff. So. Get alive! <laughs> I bro, I bro. Let's see, uh, Kyle's Destiny hours. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. Uh, that, was, that was a different time in my life, Cooper. Don't bring that up. <laughs> I, I I definitely recommend it, um, especially if you can actually get a group of people to play it, and not just uh, no, play online with randoms. I was like, playing online with randoms still suck. Randoms, getting, yeah, no. Getting people that you actually, like, know and no. have fun with is yeah, actually definitely. super fun, though. And, like, that, that can be said for a lot of games, but it's that's true. it's different with Among Us, because there's... It's know, such it's, an interactive game, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it gets your brain moving a bit, because you're like, okay, well, who you know who did I just see? You're, you're most likely going get, to get it wrong. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And like uh, having to like remember the like aspect of it. <laughs> and like having to remember like things have happened the whole match, like mm-hmm. rounds before, all that. Like it's just what a lot of the people we were playing with weren't. But I like, can't be them, I can clear them this round. That's true. Yeah. The the that long game takes time to get used to. No, definitely. That's why Paige like, kept getting away with her mass murders. <laughs> Dude, Paige was going crazy. There was a like one round she basically got like she got two kills and she did it in such a way where it looks like a double kill. And I was with Cal and Jacob and it's just like, oh, so we're just all clear. And I was the other imposter. It was like so good. Yeah, that was the last one we did, I think. I think so, yeah. Last one before Unfungled. Jacob left. Yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. All right, on yeah. to the tidbits. Uh, Definitely recommend. <clears throat> Spider-Man, Spider-Man, and Spider-Gwen costumes are coming to fall, guys. Both uh, Peter Parker and uh, Miles Morales are costumes as well as Spider-Gwen are coming to fall, guys. Woo. Nice. Let's go. Um, Nintendo seemingly makes official placement of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom on the Zelda timeline. 
uh, is it's this bullshit. Been before. Well, they said after, but uh, that's basically it's his own timeline. Yeah. 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 So at um. No, but they've announced this before. Like, there's an old one to cut off like that. I don't think. I they mean, don't have to deal with it's hundred percent confirmed. Tears of the Kingdom is a sequel to Breath of the Wild, which is, I guess, nice because some people tried to argue it's not. Which is the dumbest thing I've heard, but whatever. This obvious sequel is not a sequel. Okay. I just it would have been nice if uh, Echoes of Wisdom was on this time. Yeah. I think it'd be cool if at some point during uh, Tears of the Kingdom you got to use some of the um, like old abilities from Breath of the Wild, yeah. like the Magnesis and Cryo, you know, Cryo, all the, all those stasis. It'd be cool. It I don't know like how it would balance because it probably wouldn't be that balanced, but it'd be cool to have like you know certain. I mean, why do you need Magnesis you when shines. you have Ultra Hand? I guess you don't need Magnesis anymore, but, like, Stasis would still be pretty cool. I guess you don't really need Cryo anymore, because you can just make a boat. But, I don't know. Like, you have, like, you know, certain shrines that you go into that take away your ultra hand and other abilities and then give you like older abilities from breath of the wild i feel like that could have been cool yeah i assume they're just trying to separate themselves as best possible um but anyway Probably. yeah the games are at the end of the triumphant timeline not connected to any games just kind of there after all of them very useful thinking nintendo i don't really care about the zelda timeline much now anyways it doesn't really matter um, like, I have no idea, like, why does Echoes of Wisdom need to be on the timeline? Who knows? Because it's the newest game. Yeah, but even so, I mean, it kind of feels like it would be Because, like, from... doing this to the timeline with Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom is like a, yeah, this doesn't actually... The timeline really is like... actually trash. Yeah. Uh, Mario Mario Party developer Indie Cube Mario. changes name officially to Nintendo Cube because Nintendo owns ninety nine percent of the stock. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, Pauline is being added to Super Mario Party Jamboree. Woo, which is fun. Kingdom Hearts Unchanged Cross Dark Road has been delisted from all app stores. Yep. Yeah, but... Dang. Which means the only way to see those parts of the story, if you don't currently have that downloaded, is well. To uh, be fair, YouTube. the app was already mostly shut down. Yeah, but you could at least obtain it and play through it, kind of, sort of, ish. Not play through it. You can watch cuts. Hmm. Those are the important part, anyways. Rocksteady hit by layoffs after Suicide Squad killed the Justice League underperforms. Yeah, lay off the developers because you force them to develop a shitty microtransaction sh season pass mm -hmm. gross pile of dog. And it failed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah lay off the developers. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's their fault. It's definitely not the executive that greenlit that. Uh, one year later, Larian Studios reflects on Baldur's Gate 3 success, future plans, and canceling DLC. Quote, ever since we felt better. We didn't want to have to work on the game when we're already making so much money. Yeah, and honestly, I bet they are, we're already kind of full steam into something new that they want to work on and a change of pace. And I know having to make more content for a super huge game like that is, is kind of a slog. I just don't think they want to work with Hasbro anymore, though. Also can't blame them for that. True. It's so real for that. Uh, all your faves are on the way. No character is off limits for the ballooning Marvel Rivals roster. Nobody cares. <laughs> That's is Marvel Rivals a stupid Overwatch clone for Marvel? Yes. yes. Okay. 
Oh uh, yeah, look, you you throw in some D tier character, and I will believe you when you say that no character is off limits. Until then, uh, I don't believe you. Also, oh, until you I can see that this game does not turn into a shitty microtransaction season pass slop, then uh, well, to well be can. fair, to be fair to them, they did announce all characters for now and forever are free to play. Characters. There's no way this is yeah. not going to be packed with trash. There's no way. I'll Skins, eat my words. Yeah, emotes. All, all that. I mean, uh, the characters are like the important part, but I feel like what which developer was it that's uh, just charging for like all the characters? Blizzard. Overwatched. <laughs> it was Ew. Overwatch Two. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Overwatch not, Two is okay, Overwatch, but everything's worse. Everything is paid for and worse, and uh, you have no money. Yeah, in Overwatch 2, it, like, in Overwatch, you paid for the game and you got everything. In Overwatch 2, you had to pay for the, like, battle pass and everything. Everything, every single time they came out with a new one. And then what made it even worse is instead of being, you know, uh, a battle pass where it's just cosmetics, you mm -hmm. actually got new characters and shit only in the battle pass. That's crazy. Yeah. So it it was like, I don't, battle passes are annoying. I don't like that they exist because they are, you know, inherently predatory the way that they try to monetize it. And it, it's like the, you know, you miss out or unless you buy it kind mm -hmm. of thing. Um, but to make it where you have balance changing stuff in the battle pass. That's even worse, dude. That's crazy. Like, are you mm. kidding me? You have you have full on like characters that change the way the game works, but you can only get it if you pay, you know, twenty bucks to get a stupid battle pass that you have to play the game in order to. Yes. Actually, make it worth right. it. That's that's crazy. Lego Harry Potter Collection is being remastered and is coming out October eighth on PS five, Xbox Series consoles, and PC. Let's go. I love those games. They I haven't played them in a while since they were on the um the, the Wii. Wii was the last time I played them. But they came out on the Switch uh as ports. I they did. Um, I would like I to know what them. this does. I'm hyped uh, okay, it enhances graphics and gameplay, 60 FPS, native 4K resolution, haptic feedback, high resolution shadow maps. Hell yeah. I need them to uh I need them to remaster the Lord of the Rings Lego games. That'd be sick. Oh, yeah. That'd be sick. That was the top comment on this. It's the remaster. <laughs> was it actually? Yeah. Hell yeah. These the Lord of the Rings Lego games were actually amazing. I had the um I had the, the Lord Hobbit of the Rings one. Lego game. I heard they never fin really finished the last DLC. The Hobbit before. the Hobbit one was okay. But the the Lord of the Rings games are actually really good, and I played them all the way through like three times on the PS3. Oh yeah, yeah, it was awesome. And, uh, going back real quick, I was muted for it. Uh, but uh, Kyle remains our Battle Pass expert, bro. <laughs> bro, you're out of here. Yep, that's a Battle Pass. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yep, that's a battle pass. That is certainly a battle pass. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. I'm not even battle pass expert. I just have very opinionated thoughts. True. Very brawls. Uh, Square Enix is making progress towards bringing Final Fantasy XIV to Nintendo hardware. Not Pocket Edition. Wait, so it's going to be like the 3D models and stuff? Yeah, the actual game. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> um, Yoshi P also confirms that. Um, from Concerned Ape, I have not touched Haunted Chocolatier in a long time because I am committed to finalizing Stardew 1.6 first. Yeah, He's I mean, not. I knew He's this in was, a rut. Yeah, yeah. I knew this was going to happen. I mean, Stardew 1.6 was huge, and... The team is the team is small. It is what it is. I mean, yeah. Like I hate to see that Honda Chocolatier is is just rotting on the shelf right now, but um, that also means 
I mean, like, you know, he's working on Stardew. I'm not going to complain about that. I still want 1.6 on Switch so I can see what the impact is to my big save over there. And I'm just playing on PC in the meantime. Yeah. Um, so it's, uh, it's a little disappointing, but, you know, it is what it is. He's working. He's working hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, just like in the brush side. Oh, sorry. You good? It lets him like focus on like uh, one project at a time. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, works. if he was working on both, starting one point six for other platforms is just gonna even take longer than it already is. So. Exactly. It'll take just longer it and probably also not be as good. Yeah. True. And we want it to be as good as possible. Your workload too thin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He is just one man. Because he can't. No, he's got anybody else. He's got. There's a team, a team of three now. Yeah. They mostly the other two mostly do the ports though, but it is a team of three. Last time he gave oh, an update, he said he was personally working on the more mobile port. Hmm. Um, Wizarding One Hundred and One has announced that they are bringing the game to consoles, coming to Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch. More news what? to come. Yeah. Stop, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? If you're gonna have that, then let, at least let me get the role. <laughs> yeah, you've got it. Battle you got it. That is, you that's, are the battle expert. You are. I gave you it? the role. Where is it? It's way at the bottom. Hmm? I just have the hell. You click. You all. Well, he's finding that. Um, what's next? Oh, he's right. It's not showing up, but I gave it. It it shows yeah. up on my side. Uh, we generated prices there, there. there we go. Clock Tower Rewind for PS5, PS4, and Switch launches October 31st. That's exciting. Let's go. Is that a Hell good yeah. I wish it Is launched before Halloween. Like Yeah. I always prefer when Halloween games like uh, I'm so glad like, Casting of Frankstown releases tomorrow because like mm -hmm. it's a bit early, but at least you could play it for halloween if you really wanted to you could play it for spooky season yeah. but like being like oh it came out at the end of october like around cooper's birthday and later it's mm -hmm. kind of like this is a bit late didn't they do that with luigi's yeah. mansion 3 it's like yes, yes it came out mm -hmm. late or october like which i get it for companies it's like oh it's spooky but for us it's like but i want it to play it in the spooky season not yeah. it's november now it's like getting a christmas advent calendar for christmas yeah on christmas it's, yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes because all i'm thinking about like in november it's like ah good soon is the fat day and iron bowl um Let's see. Like a Dragon series director, if there's no healthy fighting during development, you can only make a lukewarm game at best. I feel like that's fair. Sounds about right. Yeah. yeah. Like, you want strong opinions on why this will or will not work. Just, not just, oh yeah, this... Oh yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. Uh, RGG Summit Showcase to reveal next Yakuza Like a Dragon game in September. So that'll be coming soon. Nice. Right. I'm nice. Cool. Then you, I feel like you don't want a bunch of yes men on like a development no. team. Because that'll like... Yeah. Uh, give me a sec to look this up. It will be September 20th. And they'll announce the new game. So more than likely, it will probably... They've hinted at something new. The subreddit thinks it will be Judgment 3, which means they'll reuse... They'll figure out a reason to send, um, oh, what's his name? Talk. That's what everybody calls him. They'll figure out a reason to send Talk to Hawaii so they can reuse the assets they made for Hawaii. They are the king of reusing their assets. Facts. Let's go. Uh, Blue Protocol will be discontinued on January 18th, 2025 in Japan and will no longer release worldwide. I don't even know what this is. There's probably a reason for that. I mean, it hasn't even released, <laughs> so. Well, it released in Japan. PS5, Xbox Series X, Microsoft Windows. And I named Free to play Gaming. online action RPG. Ah, yes. 
my free to play action online RPG. Great. Um, 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 yeah, beta list because it's dead. Rip. Rip indeed. Vampire Survivor is now on PlayStation. Um, I was looking at that and then I forgot. That's actually kind of cool. It's great. Grant and I have both put way too many hours in it. I think it'd be funny oh, if it yeah. still just lags super hard because there's just <laughs> too many enemies on screen. Uh, level 5 is going to announce a new game at the end of this month. It's exciting. All the DLC is here. Oh. And everything's on sale by 10% off. There you go. Uh, oh, no, gonna... those. Okay. Uh, level five really does uh, um, yeah, what's the, Alex, what's the uh, they made Professor Layton, Yokai Walk, Professor Layton, and, uh, the but they just a little a RPG Layton, that right? I can't remember. Yes, Professor Layton yeah. Seven, finally a sequel. Oh, they can't announce another Professor so Layton game. They just announced it's one. Step between it will have to be step between six and Catriel like. But there's like a 24 year gap between those two, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, was, and are you good? Oh, my fault. You're good. Yeah, it was next level games that did Mario Soccer, not okay. Yeah. Next level game makes yes. Luigi's Mansion and Mario Soccer. Gotcha. Uh, and confirmed Zelda Echoes of Wisdom has both normal and hero difficulty settings. On hero difficulty, you take double damage and you don't get heart drops. I don't know if I'll play yeah. heroes. No. I would have to get a reward for it. Pat on the back. Also, uh, the reward has to be better than playing Maddening Mode in Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, for title that... screen changed. No, no, no. It's a slight title screen change. That's the problem. Like, here's a cone of yellow as opposed to a cone of white. Even if it was a full title screen change, I'm out. <laughs> no, literally. It's got, I want it to be at least on the level of Link's Awakening, where you get a slightly different ending if you don't die. Mm. Yeah. Um, old and but... I mean slight, but there is a difference. Old yeah, but still interesting easier. tidbit of the week. Astrobot's first appearance is in PS4 Playroom 2013 before he got his first game in Astrobot Rescue Mission in 2018 and celebration of mm. Astrobot releasing <clears throat> this week. I tried to find something more interesting. I on the PlayStation on his wiki page on fandom it says he's voiced by Matthew McConaughey. And I looked and both the credits for Rescue Mission and Playroom and anything else, and nothing says he's voice fine. Yeah, because you're looking at a wiki page. Someone just did that. Yeah, that's mm. what I figured, but I w was kind of hoping it would be real. That would be it... funny if it was real. That would be that'd real. be hilarious. Funny if true. Uh, got Not a, true though. Got a couple rumors this week. Uh, the PlayStation Five Pro is uh, so. Let me go ahead and clarify. We've got multiple different PS Five Pro rumors. Some of these are going to be conflicting. So one rumor says that it's going to come with two terabytes of internal storage, be basically silent running, and uh, potentially have no disk drive. I can believe the silence. The PS5 is pretty quiet. I was going to say, I basically count the PS5 as silent today, mm -hmm. so okay. I don't know. My dad uh, closed his into a cabinet without realizing it while my mom was trying to decorate the house today. And like 20 minutes later, we heard... I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's why Grant and I think it's silent because we leave it in an open uh, air. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, you try breathing in and out of a trash bag for 20 minutes to see how that goes. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, of course it's going to run really loud like that. No, he usually, he usually does, uh, he usually does keep the cabinet open, but he had it closed because my mom was like in front of it trying to decorate why does your dad have a ps5 because he's sick mean, why does my dad because he's a, a g five? he's a gamer he's a gamer because yeah. he likes to play games on the Let's ps5 I don't yeah know. but that all that tells me is you could join us for astrobot uh, astrobot so no 
You could buy <laughs> Astro Bot. I'm not buying Astro Bot on his Switch or on his. <laughs> on his no, that's why you buy it physically. <laughs> yeah, I'm still not doing. You're, you're not. You're not trying here, I, Kyle. Look, then, you, are, look, you <laughs> overestimate me. I'm not. If I had known this was your argument <laughs> that you're gonna come to Kai with beforehand, I would have told you to stand down. That's a losing <laughs> argument. That is. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, I, I, I'm listening to them. I hear them. Buy a copy of Astrobot to go to your dad's house to play it, and when you're not playing on his PS5, you have a little like thing on your wall. You can like hang it on your wall. <laughs> All right. Here's, here's, what I'm gonna, here's what I'm gonna tell you. If I'm buying Astrobot, it'll be for my dad for like his birthday or Christmas. <laughs> and then if I'm ever over there, I'm probably not gonna be playing it because he'll be playing. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. I mean, I might buy Astro Bot, but not for myself. Yeah, yeah. And not with the intention of actually playing it. Um. Okay. So, other PS Five rumors. Um. Announcement is September 9th, Supposedly, this is from 4chan. So you know how trustworthy oh, this is. So we should know about this next Monday. The release date is December sixth. Price is five ninety nine for a digital version and six ninety nine for a disc no version. No way, dude. Seven hundred bucks, sell. bro. We're going up another two hundred. That ain't gonna sell. There's no way. Yeah, if that genuinely is the price, uh, you could literally go to Costco and get a pre-built CyberPower PC for like eight or nine hundred. Yeah. That is so much of a better. Like, if you can save up seven hundred, you better just save up nine hundred and get a good pc that's ridiculous yeah that's insane like dude at that price i might as well just buy the psvr don't forget what this is saying is that putting the disc drive in in is worth a hundred more dollars when the disc drive is, you can buy one right now for 60 for the ps5 uh slim but they don't right. cost them. But they have to change the build slightly, Alex. Um, the disk drive can be removed and attached to both digital and disk versions, so just like the current PS5 Slim setup. And uh, this rumor says the SSD is still only a terabyte. Although, I i don't know if I'd believe that. I mean, you think with the Pro model, they put two terabytes in there, especially if you're charging that much money. Dude, they no, better no. charge at least... Or they better give me at least... Uh, two terabytes for an extra two hundred dollars. Seriously, dude, if that seven hundred dollar one is true, that's absolutely insane. That's insane. Well, we're believing four chan, hundred percent. They know what they're talking about. Um, the Astrobot trophy list is revealed. Um, and also the someone got the game early, and there's leaks about. So be careful. Oh, Pain, suffering. Uh, and the Tales of Graces F remastered is part of a larger remaster project. Zillia remastered could still happen. Okay, I don't even know what that game is. Hmm. No clue. Mm -mm. Um, and the finishing topic of the week: What game would you like to see remade? Bloodborne, <laughs> easy. Next. Dang. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only. It's it's literally the, one of the biggest games in my mind that deserves a remake. That we'll never probably get it because Sony's a bitch. I learned that the PS4 emulation on PC is non-existent except for Bloodborne. There's an emulator that's set up like it's basically just Bloodborne.exe. No, it's there's another one. It's PT. Yeah, and PT. That's it. That's all PC players want to play. Bloodborne is owned by Sony because FromSoft was poor and needed money, so they sold the IP to Sony, and now Sony won't update Bloodborne to give it a remaster. They won't give it a new game. They won't sell the IP back to FromSoft so that it's out of their hands and FromSoft can God, do you it. You sound like gaming slash leaks and rumors. Where they're always bitching about Bloodborne not getting a port. Why yeah. is Bloodborne not yeah. in the showcase? Because because I love because I love Bloodborne, and 
I want it so bad to be able to play it again now that I don't have my PS4, and I still can. <laughs> it's like, it it physically pains me that I cannot play it. That's I would crazy. love to see Cruisin' USA remade with the graphics of like Cruisin' World. I know that game's kind of mid to a lot to most people really, but um Cruisin' Blast is actually kind of fun as it is and to see Cruisin' USA remade again, I mean, I'd buy that shit instantly. That'd be really cool. Um also DK64 I think would be a really cool uh, one. Fair. To see. Yeah, totally. Oh, definitely. Maybe when Microsoft lets Rare go, we can have another DK64. No, it would just be if Nintendo wants to remake it, they'll remake it. <laughs> but know, Nintendo guys. hates remaking games. R- Rare Studios is not great. No, no they, they remade a lot they recently, can we? Yeah, but they that's a new console life. We're not... Make, <clears throat> they remade Metroid Prime. They remade Paper Mario as an year door. They remade... Famicom Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind and the Missing Air. Uh, both Trace Memory games. Yeah. They've been on like, Luigi's Mansion 2, I guess, but I won't really count that one because... I was going to say, I don't count that, and I don't really count Paper Mario. I'll count Metroid Prime for sure, um, and the really? FDC why not, games. Why not Paper Mario? Yeah. They put more effort into that than they did Luigi. I mean, sure, there's some changes, but really it just seems like the same game, nicer graphics, uh, and unfortunately a locked frame rate. So, like, I don't I don't know. It seems more like a remaster yeah. to me. I mean, that's what they called Prime, and Prime is obviously not. Yeah, I would, I would count yeah. Metroid Prime as a remake more than I would. because everyone just Mario. uses the words interchangeably. Hmm. Now, Uh-oh. I know it's on the. They made it. <clears throat> it was originally on the Wii, and then they put it on the 3DS. But Kirby's Epic Yarn, bro. Kirby's Epic Kirby's... Yarn was a good game, dude. Super just wants to extra yarn. Yeah. Fair, fair. I've mentioned it before. I'll come up with a different answer, but I dude. know my number one. It's still on the wall behind me. That's right. It's a link between worlds. Um, let's see. Uh, I think, but that is in Luigi's Mansion Two port. Please, you'll kill me if it's similar. I think I want a proper remake of Pikmin Two, not just HD support. Like, look look at how good Three and Four look. I want the rest of the series to look like that. I don't know if that's my top one per se. But that's the one I'm like, I I would cop that day one. It's not really a remake because I know they had it on the PS5 and it worked fine. But I want them to move Infamous over to PC so that I can play Infamous Mm. again. Mm. Because I haven't played that since PS3. You can't play it on PS5. Maybe it was PS4. No, it's a PS3 game. You might be. So you I can play. On PS3. They had another. They made like another. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, like Last Light or is on. It over, or um, actually. No. <laughs> so I've got Infamous on my PS5, and all you can do is play a. Uh, you can play the new one, which is Infinite Last Light, or you can play cloud streaming versions of one and two. Stop. Yeah, I want to. I want to have access to one and two because those are the better games. Definitely. But not cloud be, versions. It would be stellar. Um, like completely. I don't know why they. I, I'm sure I can, on a business side, why they didn't do it. But Tony Ox Pro Skater 3 and 4, they did 1 and 2. I want to see 3 and 4. I think those are the better ones. Um, yeah. That'd be really cool. They changed Tony Ox so, Pro Skater thing, a Twitter page to celebrate. The 20th anniversary point. Oh. Skate two's better. Skate two's better. It's it okay. doesn't work at all, which makes it hilarious, which <laughs> makes it better. <laughs> oh, if this I could pick a game, game to get like a Final Fantasy VII remake, it's Majora's Mask. 
Oh, that's fair. That's that's from like yeah, that's the complete fair. ground up. I don't know. I think I'll just take a a port of the 3DS game, but obviously not direct. Like, NHG. don't make me play a 3DS game on a Switch. Make it a Switch game. Um, no, definitely. But imagine a remaster, a remake of it. Yeah, but um, also imagine having to pay $180 for a different story. All right, I'll fight you. <laughs> Meet me in the parking uh, lot. Elite Beat Agents would be crazy from the DS. That probably I don't Dude. know if that'd work well on Switch. That'd probably work yeah. as a PC game. But uh, Tomodachi Life. That'd be a good one. I, I would like remake? to see as a. I mean, I would prefer to see a new one, I guess. But like, it'd be nice to just see them support it. I mean, if they were gonna Nobody do anything with that, though, I think that'd just be a port. Exactly. It wouldn't be uh yeah. Oh, I got like, it. I think it would be like the um maybe add a couple extra features. I got what I actually want. That um the the one with the, the RPG, my bad Alex. So they're act so the rumor is they're going to report they're gonna remake Persona Four already. I want the first two remake, first three, my bad. One, two, and two sequel. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Uh I would love to see uh stacking remade stacking stacking have you it's a puzzle game made by uh double fine games nope and it's you you play as a as a russian matroshka doll and you can like you have to like stack into different characters around the map and stack out of them and Make yourself smaller so you can fit through smaller places. Get like certain dolls that are around that you like have to look like that doll in order to finish stuff. It's it's like one of the best puzzle games I've ever made. Like played. It's extremely fun, uh, but it is also like at this point twelve years old or something like that. So definitely would like to see that remade mm-hmm. with some better graphics and maybe yeah. a couple new puzzles to do uh, within the game would be super cool. Uh, Wait, I think I found it. It took a second. There's a lot of different like stacking games like Jenga. No, it's, it's mm-hmm. stacking. Like The game is just called stacking. <laughs> I know, but typing in stacking game brings up a lot of results but i did find it yeah Made by 28 hq until 2013 Made by the psa xbox 60 windows and Linux. Uh, this says it released in 2011 though it might have released in 2011 i don't know i'm a year I'm off saying- that's how it dare you? How dare yeah. you be not absolutely pinpoint correct? I'm sorry. Please log me yeah. in the street. <laughs> this team boss is pretty good. Uh, 007 Nightfire and Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. Especially Crash. I think that would be fun. Mm. Uh, it's a game that I think a lot of people sleep on in the Crash series, and I like the I like like the trilogy remaster that they did, and mm-hmm. the new one's fine, but that one's really good not, too. Yeah. Not getting yeah, out the Cortex, so yeah. they're owned by Microsoft, yeah, and Microsoft hates fun. I think that's so true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> crazy. Not go 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 go. I feel like you barely talked. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I think with Kimberson like Tomodachi left, I feel like they can add a bit more into it like kind of how they did with like me somo with like the me creator and all that all the like yeah that's that's a long shot there's a long omodachi life is basically like nintendo sims isn't it yeah pretty much yeah but a lot more limited sims light i got you i got you uh not that could be a good i guess not console related but uh toontown Okay. Yeah. That won't I, happen. Dude. That won't happen because Disney's just gonna do uh whatever they're doing with Fortnite and uh 
type of games no, with their visual it's just, it's content yeah. world. But if like Disney it, was going to bring one Fortnite. back, they'd bring Club Penguin. I was about to say because that. Club Penguin Elite Penguin Force, baby. Bring it back. Literally. It's on the DS. Bring it back. Okay, but even without Elite Penguin Force, just bring back an Club actually Penguin. playable and not scam Club <laughs> Penguin, bro. They Literally. had one, remember? Okay, and then because they, they, they made dude. they made a non Java was... version and it uh, sucked because everyone lost all their stuff and it became a lot more monetization heavy. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Club Penguin like I Island, right? Island, Club Penguin Island. Yeah. Yeah. That's that. that's why you go with one that was already uh, you know already had a membership and everything. I mean, Club Is Penguin it... did as well, but like it, yeah. You know. Is uh, Clipping One Island Disney's... literally? Oh, sorry. Disney ain't gonna go back to doing one that's uh... no free to play. Because literally the whole thing of Clipping One Island is like if you didn't buy a membership, you literally weren't allowed to play the game, pretty much. Yeah, they they want you to, which, I mean, with very few exceptions, subscription games are kind of just dead at this point. I know this yeah. is a double-edged sword, um, because they would screw it up inevitably, uh, so horribly true. even. But Black Ops, the original. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah, I don't. I don't is that with zombies? The, it wasn't the first one with zombies, but it's arguably the best. If either that or Black oh. Ops Two. Um, yeah. And yeah, I like. Would add zombies. Zombies. In my zombies head, it brought... sounds great, but then I think of what happened to Modern Warfare, and yeah, yeah it would probably be absolutely True. horrible. But if they didn't screw it up, it'd be legendary. I might actually buy that game day one. I might buy a Call of Duty game day one, but they would screw it up. So I don't have to worry about holding myself to that. <laughs> Any other final submissions before we wrap it up? Mm. Um, I think uh, this one's kind of... I'm blanking on GameCube games. Since it's where I put dude, it. Just... Dude, different. The, oh, dude, the... The original uh, Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3 Pokemon games... Not trash like uh, I, f- I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's the same double edged sword issue. Yeah, where it's like Dude, it depends let's... on who you're having develop it. Because Jim Ford, I want black and white. No, we don't want them to touch black and white. Let's I want black and white and black and white too. I can't remember if the game was good or not. I never played it personally. I think Cameron played it. But let's just bring it back because it's it was on the GameCube and only the GameCube. Let's bring back Eternal Darkness, dude, for fun. Oh, uh, that would be. Every year we get a hint at like a sequel because Nintendo re up the uh, trademark like every three or four years. Honestly, in terms of Pokemon, I kind of want like all of the Pokemon to be remade every single time they come out with a new console just so you can. Oh, that'd be good. That would move everything like, up. No. Without having to, without having to do own the stupid emulators. Systems. Yeah, or having like yeah. a crazy amount of systems and you like, don't have to do any emulators, like, dude. Yeah, let's, come dude, on. The, the, let's that's just the, get the greatest Ooh, Pokemon brought then. Coliseum. Yeah. You don't even, you don't oh, even have to bring thing. back. You don't even have to bring back all of them. Just make sure that you bring back it's like the main line. Yeah, like it doesn't have to be red and red and blue, but it can be like just get, red and like yeah. Well, yeah, that's what like, let's that what everybody thought. Or? Let's go was gonna be. We get like and then yeah. they were like, oh, we made. Yeah, fire red, fire red, leaf, leaf green, green gets yeah. you like, you know, yeah, heart, heart gold. Skins, basically. I, yeah. This is what, but this is what people thought the Let's Go line was gonna be, dude. And that's then a, they made so Jin, they so made Kanto, and then went, oh, we only like Kanto, and that is why Leon has a. Tra- I mean, so that true. game just wasn't what people wanted, so wanted. it has a no. bad eye in the public view but i am a i'm a let's go defender i had a ton a, of fun dude, with i like that let's game. go that was probably the one i let's like, go not as good as pokemon like. snap though pokemon snap huge i mean two totally what different do you think of new snap? <laughs> two <laughs> different you're doing, but... don't, don't care don't care <laughs> that's don't care. crazy the the realism bro in pokemon snap i mean i get that you're you know confined to tracks so they can make it you know look a lot better but bro, it looks so much better than any other Pokemon game we've ever had. Pokemon Snap Two, mwah, mwah. love it. Oh yeah, great, dude. Oh, 
and it's kind of strange. Not not like I guess yeah, you'd have to bring you had to bring back all Smash Bros. Brawl for this, but Subspace Emissary like. What is his own game? I don't know. I don't know. Subspace Emissary was fun. I don't think it's good enough that it needs to come back though. No, like the mo the 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 the, the gameplay not too great, but the dude the story mode, bro the. That story. Yeah, let's bring back this the game story. where the gameplay isn't great. <laughs> <laughs> great recommendation. Just, just I want to return to Feudal Japan Pokemon, uh, the Year Pokemon Award Conquest. Lord. Pokemon Conquest. Exactly, Pokemon Conquest. Fire Who doesn't want to go back to being a warlord? Fire Emblem with Pokemon. That is actually a good pick. All right. I want Fire Emblem games remade. I want Awakening. That's how we're going to I need <laughs> Awakening with all its DLC. All right, Drop Nintendo, that. you heard him. Get yeah, on that. Do it or else. That's right. All right, we're going to wrap it up here. Thank oh, you so much dude. for listening. Oh, one more. Oh, my fault. My one fault. more. Dude, Double Dash. Like Mario they Kart have a. They're what? not going to do that. That'd be so fun, though. They're not going to do that. They would cannibalize their own nice, cells. Yeah, nice wishful thinking. My fault. Thanks. Oh, dude, Soul Calibur 3, bro. Super. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go. We're going. We're going. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please share us with a friend. We post every Wednesday, seven a.m. Central Standard Time. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube.com, slash Stormwind Games. Anywhere that you get your podcast, you can find us. Add us on Twitter at All Night Gamers with a K. What'd you do for Labor Day? Are you excited or surprised by the Xbox selling in Japan for once? Um, what do you think of the it's PS5 silly. Pro rumors? What games do you want to see remade? Let us know. We'll be back next week for more gaming news talk and discussion. Thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. Bye.